Hello witches, this is Stregabella, and this is my video response to Lady Grave Dancer's um, contest for um, paranormal experiences. Um, my paranormal experiences have all been um, since living in this house. My house was built in 1854, um, and the town has been here since... Um, the same time as Salem, Mass, uh, the 1600s, it wasn't called Wakefield then. I believe it was called South Reading. Um, we also had Native Americans in our town and um, had to sign a treaty with them in the 1800s, which is how our lake got named. Our lake is called Lake Quonopowit. But to get to the paranormal, um, my house was the original owner of the property of the cemetery behind our house. And um, so we are kind of like the gatekeepers. And um, since living here, I have, um, I've been having dreams, um, I believe, related to the cemetery. Um, dreams of other people's lives that I'm, I'm not even in the dreams. I think that either the spirits are trying to tell me um, just share their lives with me um, through when I when I'm in my dream state I'm probably the most relaxed and receptive to that um, and I've um, become more adept at it and I notice that it happens more around um, the times of the year when the veil is thin um, but more paranormal um, has been the spirits that are in this house I believe we have a spirit of a child um, who associates me either as being his mother or um, just enjoys my motherly energy. Um, I believe it's a boy and um, he's gotten in bed with me when my children aren't home. Um, I think he comes around specifically when my children aren't around. I don't know if um, it's because, you know, he doesn't want to, you know, um, take away from their time with me or whatever. But, um, one particular experience that I feel kind of bad about myself is um, he um, was getting into bed with me one night and I was asleep and so I assumed one of my children was getting in bed because that's a common occurrence but um, as I woke I realized that the children were sleeping at their grandparents and um, I there were no children in the house and so becoming startled I, I said you know go away be gone and um, I could feel the hesitation as he, you know, went down towards the foot of the bed and hesitated, and then I kind of yelled to go away, and um, I could hear him leaving. Um, I He's never gotten in bed with me since that time, but um, I feel bad now because, you know, I was just, un it was unexpected, and I probably would have reacted differently if, um, you know, I had had time to think about it ahead of time. Um, I have also had experiences where, um, I'm not sure if it's still him, but, um, people, spirits have, um, mimicked the voices of people in this house. Um, I've heard my name called clearly in the voice and the, you know, that in term of endearment or, um, special name or something and assumed it was the person only to find out later that they weren't in the house. You know, when I said, what, 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 and then went to see what they wanted and they weren't home. Um, then there's also a musical um, thing that happens where when you hear the music, it's, you can't hear it quite clearly. And when, it's like almost like a radio is playing somewhere in the room, but you can't find it. And as you search around, go anywhere in the house to try to find it, it never gets louder or fainter. It stays that same volume and um, you can never figure out where it's coming from or what it is. Um, we've had objects fall off of walls recently um, uh, several times like you put them back up and they'll fall again and um, even you know you put a new nail hole and everything it's not like you know I checked to make sure if um, it was loose or so, um, these objects that have fallen multiple times, I've either moved to a different place or, um, just left them off the walls because obviously they were not wanted to be there. Um, and 
the last thing I'm going to share is um, toys. Um, that's a big one. Um, toys that go off in the middle of the night. And uh, we have less of that now, which is why I really think it's a very young child because it used to happen all the time when my children were younger and had like younger oriented toys. Like, um, you know, like those little telephones that have a string and you pull them, like real toddler type of toys. And um, they, it would get annoying, so sometimes I would try to pull the batteries out, but that didn't stop it. They would still find a way to make the toys make noise. Um, so, so those are my paranormal experiences um, of this house. And uh, I think now that I'm more used to it, um, I don't really, it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't pay it much heed. They're just our spirits, and I think the kids have gotten used to that as well. Um, they just know, you know, they, they're not going to hurt them. So I hope you liked my video response, and blessed be. Bye. Hey, congrats on um, a thousand subscribers, Lady Grave Dancer. You really deserve it.